when you hear John McCain being on the receiving end of anywhere from not being a war hero to all types of other derogatory comments about him by the President of the United States, and then you hear the President of the United States basically what you, would, this well, what, what, what you would say <laughs> as what you would say as uh, well, this is hard work. This is hard work. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, Chris, Chris, tell me, tell I'm me. Telling you how much, first of all, when you hear when the Donald president, John, when, when President Trump says that my Vietnam was avoiding VD, I mean, how do you, how do you, can you make, can you satirize that behind what he just said? His Vietnam was avoiding VD. But when you hear he recently that he basically gone out because of his foot, a growth spurt. Well, what are you thinking? You know, there, there, there was some uh, concierge doctoring going on in the Vietnam area. Yeah, I think people found the right doctor. Yeah, we know that. But John McCain, first of all, did not, he wasn't some guy who was in a, um, in a foxhole who puts his hands up. He flew his plane down into Hanoi, into the enemy <laughs> capital, and he shot down over the capital, gets fished out of the water. I've been there, out of that lake, beaten to hell by the local people in the water. Be they started beating him up in the water. He comes out with both arms broken, legs broken, put in prison for seven years. How did he chicken out? I mean, it's just an absurd claim from a guy who did not go in the war. Like a lot of guys that didn't fight in the war, I'm embarrassed to get into some test of who was the best American because the guys, not that a lot of guys didn't go in because they are just drafted, but the guys that actually were in it. I always ask people my age, were you in it? And they always give me that knowing look. Yeah, I was in it. And we know what that meant. You went back in Saigon doing accounting. My roommate in college got it. This is a great office. Direct commission as a finance officer. There are ways to go over there and your parents would be proud of you, but you were keeping the books. These guys were in the planes flying into the enemy capital or we saw everybody here saw the documentary, what, what these guys did. I mean, every morning getting up and walking into the fields and knowing you're gonna get killed. Every day doing it for a year. I mean, I don't think Trump should talk about that stuff. 